Thanks for coming to my channel. I'm Ted Bear. I'm the author of Communicating with Your Dog. You'll find links of all my videos uh, down in the description section below. Uh, make sure you check out my first video. It talks about the benefits of sharing an actual language with your dog to improve your communication. Occasionally I hear people say that they're going to be sending their dog off to get it trained. And although there's a limited amount of success with doing so, if you want your dog to listen to you, you must participate in its training. Behind every obedient dog is an owner that loves it and trains their dog. Rule number eight of 15 important rules is to praise or correct your dog immediately. The quicker, the better. If your dog does something that deserves a positive or negative reaction, give your dog that feedback immediately. If you have young children who have been having fun with crayons on the kitchen wall, you can find out about that hours later. And still, pull them out and have a talk to them and they can learn from their mistakes. But dogs are different. It's not highly effective to come home and yell at your dog for something your dog has torn up. I would still do it. I'm just telling you it's not very effective. You need to catch your dog in the act and discipline your dog immediately. You need your dog to associate the discipline with the misconduct. In training, try to set your dog up with temptations. You know, have that uh, sandwich you just made sitting on the coffee table and then hide and wait for your dog to come up and sniff it and then be ready to make a correction at that point. That is effective training. Praise works the same way as corrections. It must be immediate so your dog has a chance to associate the praise with the good thing it just did. If your praise is late, it can be misinterpreted by your dog or happily accepted without understanding why. In canine feedback, the quicker the better. Rule eight, that is praise and correct your dog immediately, is so important in your training. An example of this is if you catch your dog carrying out clothes from your closet floor. You wanna yell bad at the dog and act really angry. As soon as your dog drops the clothing, you wanna turn into this happy owner and go reward your dog with a treat and maybe even a play session. You're just taking the negative and turning it into a positive in only seconds. By the way, in that scenario, you'll wanna wash the clothing or put it in the sun. The scent of your dog is on that and my fear is if your dog passes that closet, it'll smell what it will think is their piece of clothing and they might pull it out again. Please subscribe to my channel. It will benefit everyone, especially your dog. And check out my other videos.